Well, good morning. We are back in the van once again, and we're going to be doing day four, hopefully the final day of the bed build. It's a really cold and foggy morning. It's kind of about nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, I've got limited uh, hours of light um, during these winter times. So I'm literally, I'm starting as early as I can. Um, I can't start any <clears throat> any earlier because um, there are laws regarding the amount of sound that you make and I've got neighbours so uh, once we've passed I think it's I think it's either eight o'clock or eight thirty but I know nine o'clock's a nice safe um, <clears throat> place to be so if I'm going to be using power tools and things although to be honest I do try not to use power tools until it's at least sort of like ten o'clock because I think that's only fair anyway uh, today we are going to finish off the uh, the bed. Now, one thing that did occur to me last night, I was a little bit worried because there is a slope, like a very slight triangle slope here on the door. This is just the way the door is configured. Um, and uh, obviously this is square to the side of the van, but this, this slopes out. But I was worried that the, uh, the furniture board might not fit behind this gap here, but I've just tested it and it does. So that's fine because I was a little bit worried about that because I'm gonna have to plaid off the back of this because uh, it looks a bit um, rubbish as it is. But I'm basically gonna be putting an extra bit of furniture board just, just to like a little lip along there and then down and then across. And uh, that'll just finish that off nicely. Uh, also today I'm going to be filling this in with plywood and this, this big hole here and uh, the plywood, I've just had a message that uh, it's gonna be delivered within the next hour. Uh, not the plywood, the um, the veneer. I was actually running out of veneer and uh, so the new stuff's gonna be fitted so I, sh I can still get, get this done today. But I think first of all, what I need to do is uh, I need to measure up the, the trim that I'm gonna put on these. I'll get that out of the way, cause then that's done then. And I've also gotta remove this piece of trim cause I actually forgot to put the two millimeter uh, groove in there ready for the edging strip. So I'm gonna get on with that now and I'll come back to you when it's all done. Right then, so uh, I've done most of the little bits and pieces that I've needed to do. Uh, I've gone over the whole back end of it and I've added in the extra furniture board there, trimmed everything off, obviously laminated it all. I've also gone through the some of the raw wood and just put some laminate on it. It doesn't look particularly pretty, but I thought uh, when I get the slats on, it just might uh, help to dull down some of the raw wood color. Um, not that it'll be visible anyway with the mattress on there, but um, it was more of a, an experiment than anything else, but um, I think it'll be fine. I've also put the single piece of trim along all the way to the end and the same along the back there. So uh, it's all fully trimmed up now, although I've got a little high spot there. So let me just take that down. That's pretty much gone now. Um, yeah, so all the trims are on and like I could say I've also trimmed around the uh, the back end as well. So all good. What I've got to do now is I'm just going to cut out a big piece of plywood for there, laminate it and just put it straight on. And hopefully that'll be a nice, quick, straightforward job. And then once it's on, I will then add in another leg for strength and that'll do two things it'll prevent the plywood from flexing uh, so it'll strengthen up the plywood and it'll also be another uh, bit of um, strength for the bed because there's literally nothing here at the moment so i'll get on and do that and uh, we'll see what the result looks like there we go one piece of ply it's actually five mil not three mil uh, but it's still pretty lightweight it's not uh, heavy at all i've obviously covered it over in the laminate and if i leave the camera there you can have a see what it looks like i think that'll be absolutely fine i'll get this screwed in and um, we'll, we'll see what the final result is. There we go, 
all done and it's gone in beautifully and it's pretty rock solid as well. Um, I got a, a brace on the back there and this is pretty much finished. Now all I gotta do is put the slats across which is the final stage and hopefully that should be it. That should be the bed finished. So all I gotta do is go and get the slats, figure out uh, the best way to go about putting them on. I'm gonna have to cut them down a little bit. I'm just trying to debate whether I need to cut them at each end or whether I can get away with just cutting you know, one end. But I will, for a lot of this, I will have to cut the slats individually to fit the space because uh, in some places I've got slopes and everything where they're gonna sit. One set of IKEA bed slats. Let's uh, open them up, see what we've got. Essentially, that's what we're looking at. I've just got to cut them down to the right size and these will give excellent weight distribution and should be nice and comfortable to sleep on. <laughs> I'm assuming they're going to take my weight because otherwise it's a long way down. <laughs> no, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. It's all in the engineering, he says. It's going to be a little while fiddling about with these because obviously each one is going to be a slightly different size apart from maybe a few in the middle. So this is going to take a bit of time, but I'll get on with it and I'll come back to you when they're all in place. Okay, we're there. Uh, I've got all the slats in place and it looks pretty strong. I'm quite impressed with the, how it's turned out. I have had to improvise a little bit, like for example, this one here, um, because of the uh, where the router wouldn't uh, cut all of the wood because of the bends in, the, in you know, the shape of it. Um, I've had to improvise a little bit, but I think that'll be fine. Um, this is just like, there's a little bit of a, a gap here but this is I think it'll be fine <laughs> I'll find out later um, and also this one at the head I actually again where the router didn't go all the way up to the end um, I had to sort of go over the top with this one but that's fine um, because obviously it's where the pillow head uh, the pillow end is anyway um, and I also had to put a secondary one in there which is attached to the top and not to the bottom. So there's a very, very slight raise of about, you know, five or six millimeters at one end. It's, it's actually flush at the other. Um, and again, it's just where the router wouldn't cut all the way down to the end there. Um, but once you've got a four inch mattress on there, you're not even gonna notice that unless you're a princess. So I can't think of there being anything else that I need to do now apart from grab the mattress, put it on there and see what's what. So let's go get the mattress and uh, and see. I might, might even try lying on it, see how that goes. Uh, all right, let's go and get it. There we go, that's the, uh, the mattress. Obviously there is some adjustments to be made, but it sits in there beautifully, look at that. That's just the right height. So that's really quite pro. I was debating whether I need to cut the top corner of the mattress off a tiny little bit to go around that pillar but to be honest I think it can just squish into place but what we've got here is a little bit of a, an overlap so I'm gonna have to go in there and trim that down and I think the best thing I can do is take this cover off and then I've got access to the foam underneath and then I can just use a big sharp knife to cut the foam and then I've got to get creative with the cover I think I'm, that, that, I'll leave that for another day, but I think I need to tidy up the house first because I, I've got like stuff everywhere, sawdust everywhere, and, and I don't want to get this messed up. So I think what I'm going to do just to play things safe is I'm going to just have the mother of all cleanups now and just get everything spick and span, completely sparkling, have a really good cleanup in the house. I'll put this, put this in the house now somewhere safe and then when everything is nice and clean out here and nice and clean at home so I've got full access to the the big kitchen table again then I can get the sewing machine out and obviously make the, the adjustments to this and do the necessary with whatever it is I've got to do to uh, to make this right but 
what I am going to try, <laughs> I've got to do it, haven't I? I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to try to just lie on the thing as it is, just to make sure it's doable. <laughs> I've got a feeling this isn't going to be very graceful. And I'm going to take my sh uh, to try to take my shoes off as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm feeling a step ladder or something may be needed. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out that loo. Right, I'm going to step on my loo to get up on it. But there we go. <sighs> Do my feet. Yeah, that's perfect. That's plenty big enough. So my feet don't even touch the board at the bottom. And if I do need to overhang, it's not too bad. Um, and it's not too claustrophobic. Although I'm gonna to have to be careful with cupboards up here because I don't want those too intrusive. Um, but you know what? This is really comfortable. <laughs> this is nice. I can even, if I, yeah, I've got, look, look at that. Look, I can, I can reach the heater without having to lean. So literally if it's freezing cold, I've just got to reach an arm out and there's the heater. And even if it's too warm, I can open the thing there and I can look out at the stars. How cool is that? Didn't even think about that. Brilliant. So this is good. This is good. I'm really pleased about this. And there's plenty of room. If I want to sleep on my side, I've got plenty of room. But the things that, that yeah, this is this is way wider than uh, I needed. Well, it's not. It, it's about right, and I can I can sit up. So all right, my head my head is touching the ceiling a little bit, but oh, this is really good. Oh, I'm very very pleased with this, and it's sturdy as anything. I think we can call that a success. Um, I, may, I may have to invest in a little step ladder or something, or even, I wonder, no, I'm not gonna put a, a foothold sort of to step up. I'm not, not gonna go that far, but even if I just gotta pull the little loo out to step on it or whatever, um, that's easy enough. Let's just slip the shoes on. Oh, right, I'm very, very happy. That is brilliant. So I've built something and it works, which is always good. Right then, so I'm going to get this back in the house somewhere nice and clean. And then I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day. I've only got about an hour of light left anyway now. So I'm just gonna tidy everything up, get everything done. I haven't put the wheels on yet. I'll leave that probably until tomorrow. Well, we'll, we'll see how much light there is, but I don't really wanna start on that as the light is fading, just in case I run into any problems. So I'll probably do that uh, possibly tomorrow. But that is it. I'm going to sign off for this video. So thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day. And I will see you in the next video in which I will be doing, no doubt, other things to the van. Quite what they're going to be yet, I don't know. But we'll find out then. So until then, take care.